YouTube fam, it's Cuppa Katie here. This is going to be in a very exciting video. There's lots of changes if you can tell what happened. So this is why I've been missing just for a little bit because I've been a very busy mama here. So make sure you grab your cup of coffee or tea because there's a lot of exciting things to share. So today's video will be a Valentine decorate with me and a little bit of cleaning up, but I cannot wait to share the reveal of how this space has transformed. So for the last week, um, I've been working on painting and getting some things done and switching up some stuff that I wasn't planning on doing, but I'm really, really happy with how everything is turning out. So I'm going to be decorating the computer hutch as always, and then the um, shelf that I have above our TV and you will see um, some new changes and I'm excited to share them with you. So let's get to decorating. I hope you are currently relaxing like my husky is. Everest always gets herself in the goofiest positions but she always finds herself super relaxed but I have a lot of decor to go through so um, let's start sorting and seeing where we're going to put all this. notice the new paint color this is a new paint color I have on our wall it used to be a brown if you've seen previous videos you'll see that it's changed a lot but this is a different brown that I do have in our family room so this wall runs from our family room into our kitchen and I just wanted a little bit of like an accent wall so I'm really really happy with it it is a bare paint from Home Depot I believe in the barnwood I will have the paint colors listed below if you're interested in it, updating a space. But I am decorating my computer hutch with all reds in the space. I really like tying in like certain colors in certain areas just because I like kind of like theming out um, my spaces when I do my decorating. So um, I'm not going to do a lot of talking in this video. I do have a little bit of a cold and I just feel like my voice is very scratchy so I'm going to try to save it as much as I can. But I will be sharing some um, fun date night ideas if you are wanting to go on any dates with your boyfriends or your husbands or your significant others. Um, you know, or even you can just do this with for some fun Galentines. But look! My new shelf! I have a new shelf in this area before I had a deck board and now I have an official shelf so I went to Home Depot I measured out what the size that I wanted and then I brought the piece of wood home painted it with white paint and then bought these two black brackets from um, Hobby Lobby and they were 40% off so I made this shelf a five foot shelf for less than $16 uh, you can't beat that it's really sturdy I really love that it's a little bit bigger a little bit wider it allows me to put my um, decor on here um, like I always do so sit back relax and let's de decorate for Valentine's.
and here is my decor for 2023. I love how this area turned out. So um, in this space, I did move some decor that I had from last year. If you missed my last year, decorate with me for Valentine's. I will have it linked here for you. But this area is all reds, where I think in the years past, I did this area in pink. So a lot of right done. I do have some Joanna Parker pieces right here, these two little heart mugs. And I just love tying in the little personal touches of having cute pictures of uh, my children. Um, I do need to get another photo of my oldest in this area, but as you can see, a lot of these pieces Ray done um, with a mix of some Target decor, but my favorite piece that I actually do have is this heart mug. It is an older Ray Dunn piece, and I found it while thrifting, and I just think it's so classic. It's really beautiful, and I just wish Ray Dunn would bring back some of those good staple pieces or just create new pieces that are very timeless like that. Like, let's be done with this Disney decor. If anybody collects Ray Dunn, I'm over all the Disney, but I did tie in some um, Valentine decor over here in my new little space. Not a lot, just a little red va um, red and white base with some roses in there. And I have like really cute little red like um, XOXO plushie and a picture of my husband and I in black and white here and then with a little like red little heart pick in the vase. And this is my uh, Valentine's decor that I put above our TV. This is the new shelf that I made. I made it from Home Depot. A lot of this decor is decor that I already had. However, this um, heart little like seller is from Hobby Lobby this year. I thought it looked really cute. And this heart um, canister is from TJ Maxx. And the little like um, stands right here, I have a, a pink one and a white one are from Hobby Lobby. They do have them this year. They also have this little truck at Hobby Lobby and I put a little like floral bouquet thing in the back trunk. I thought it looked really cute. But what makes this space for me is the really cute white and pink galvanized little hearts that I put above. I have them up there with command tape and I just thought it really tied in the space beautifully. And over here on my Hobby Lobby shelf, I did add this little um, white house here. It is from Hobby Lobby and it has a little red heart on the door, which I thought looked super, super cute. And then I found um, some little like red heart um, fillers for this little vase and I thought it just really finished tying off this space. So over here, it is all right done pieces um, with the... Um, two little like sugar and creamer um, pieces that I picked up from TJ Maxx as well. And I believe this um, little container and the heart, um, little small house is from Hobby Lobby. Otherwise, a lot of this is right done. And um, if you have any gumball machines that you were sitting on, um, that is one that I had gotten from Target and I spray painted it a different color red just to match all my decor. I do have a video on how I transform those if you still have some and wanted to do that as well. So I'll have that linked here for you. Are you you all ready for the big reveal don't mind me I have a really scratchy voice right now I feel fine but I want to show you the complete look of everything that we did so here goes all right and this is everything complete I am so happy with the transformation as you can see there was a lot of work that was done new wall color there's a new wall color on this wall as well before that was brown and I had a shade of like tannish yellowish in here and we transformed the space so um there's a new shelf over here and then you can see there is a new tv that we put up with a new sound bar and then over here looking at on this wall um i do have a new little um table over here i think it's so cute it just adds a really cute focal point and then we recentered our couch to the window so it's not pushed into the corner added a new picture over here a new little side table and then eventually I am going to finish framing this in and this will be painted black so um, it just really flows nicely coming down the stairs it's gray and this new little like wall area I had did that flows all the way I'm going to turn this way so the lighting doesn't get weird again um Everything mainly stayed in its place, but it just gave a really good freshened up look over here. So um, then when we move into the kitchen, let's see. Oh my goodness. Look at the cabinets. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love, love, love the transformation of the kitchen cabinets. So before, if you look at back at any of my previous videos, I kind of had this like 
creamish um shabby chic um paint that i had did seven years ago to my kitchen cabinets and it was very much worn in a lot of spaces so i was happy to do the update however it took me forever i did all my work on our kitchen table right here which only allows me to do so much at a time plus i'm a mom and they have kids and a husband and you know we eat at this table so i was trying to do the best that i can so um i am really really happy with the transformation so this is a rust -Oleum um kitchen cabinet kit that i bought at home depot it is in the color charcoal and um, i just think it looks amazing with the counter co um, countertop color and then with that i did change out our backsplash i will have a video coming um soon so that you can see how i did that so the backsplash is actually a white and gray subway tile and i just think it really really accents the colors in the kitchen very beautifully and i absolutely love how it turned out so you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think there is a new kitchen light here as well and then back here is a new ceiling fan so this ceiling fan is really cool it is operated on remote so it turns on and then the all the fan um, controls are operated by the remote too but it mimics my other kitchen um, light there too all right and that'll do it for my valentine's decorate with me for 2023 i am really happy with how it always turned out i'm always happy with having my decor up it took me a while i'm sorry this video is late but as you can see i had a lot of work cut out for me and i'm really really happy with the changes in our home so if you aren't yet subscribed i'd love to have you back i do a lot of fun videos and i have a lot of other content that's going to be coming to my channel i know i've mentioned that in the past but I'm coming up with some ideas and i'm excited to share them with you so thank you again for being here and i can't wait to see See you in another video. Bye! Um.